All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Six Point Brewery, and they're out of Brooklyn, New York, and this is their Dabble. So this is a double IPA that comes in at 8.2% alcohol by volume at 20 IBUs at the time of review. This can is approximately one month old. So on the back here, it says Imperial IPA brewed with Sabro, Cashmere, and Idaho 7 hops. They have a little bit of a spiel here on the back that I'll read. It says, there's nothing quite like your first taste. Hop farmers are breeding insane new flavors. One sip and you'll be hooked to truly harness these new flavors, though. You've got to dabble a bit and test them out. Uh, this new hop blend blew our minds, so for Dabble, we're taking our experiment full-scale with massive loads of hops so everyone can experience it. Sabro provides an incredible coconut note. Cashmere brings a soft, delicate complexity, and Idaho 7 brings potency and depth. Dip a toe in, dare to Dabble. So uh, I've heard about Sabro hops. I've never had a beer with them, to my knowledge. I've heard about like the coconut, obviously being a coconut fiend, you guys know how I roll. And same thing with Cashmere. Cashmere I've had once at the Voodoo Brewing Company that I remember. I've had it a couple times since, but, and it gave me coconut uh, vibes as well. Idaho 7's all over the place. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it, I don't know. It all depends on how it's used. Six point though, this is the first review from them on the channel. I really used to dig what they do, uh, but their distribution kind of dried up in Western New York until recently. Uh, but I used to love a lot of their beers. Um, just, they were good. They were well-made talking 2012, 13, 14. I ha I've had a lot of beers from them, but nothing really recently that I can think of. Maybe the, the bean series, three beans, four beans, five beans and whatnot. But anyway, let's give the support. So yeah, this is going to be probably in the New England style like so many beers are nowadays. Uh, they always have like the um, energy drink cans, which I always found unique. Uh, one of the first breweries to kind of put them in the slim cans. I can't really think of many breweries that have cans like this. Anyway, let's turn this around. Pours out this really deep, almost, this kind of looks like really deep uh, grapefruit juice. Very turbid, orange honey color, about a half finger of a white uh, head and yeah, spot it. Let's get a nose on it. Ah, definitely, there's like a little bit of like a coconut, a coconut character. That's crazy, yeah. Just with hops. Oh, it actually is giving me like pina colada vibes. There's a decent amount of pineapple as well. Yeah, damn. <laughs> I mean, it's pina colada vibes in an IPA without any adjuncts. It smells really sweet though. There's like a lot of like peach and apricot and mango stone fruits as well. Like really, it smells like a, a fruit bowl. I've, I've said this before, but like a fruit bowl of awesomeness, but definitely to the sweeter side of things. A little bit of like herbaceous dankness underneath everything. Man, that pina colada character is fucking crazy. That is weird. I mean, it's listen, it's not, it's not like super intense. It's not biting, so to speak, but... Is it, it's, it's there, it's definitely there. And now that I'm focusing on it, every time I go back, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, it's there. Anyway, it smells awesome, let's get into it, cheers. Definitely coconut, man, definitely coconut. Less on the pina colada in the taste, because there isn't like a ton of pineapple, but there is definitely that coconut. This one's coming off as more as like just a straight on coconut character and not toasted coconut. I always, my preference is toasted coconut. Like raw coconut's fine, but it doesn't, doesn't, I guess, impact me as much as toasted coconut. But it's there. There's definitely coconut in here. So first off, the body. A straight up medium body. Yeah, straight up medium body, 8% 8 or 8.2%. It's fine. It's a bit thin. Um, the mouthfeel. It's very soft and smooth. It uh, has a slight creaminess to it. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a shit ton of oats in this one. But the flavor, the first thing that my palate recognizes, and again, this could be because I read the back. It could be because I know what Sabro hops are kind of all about. There's a coconut. There's a coconut character here. It's unmistakable for me. It's definitely here. And there is no coconut in here, so it's the Sabro, maybe even the cashmere, lending a helping hand. But there's more like... There's actually more like lemony, like a lemon sweetness, almost like a lemon um, sorbet carrot kind of character. There's lemony sweetness, orange, peach, apricot, mango, stone fruit vibes as it carries on through the palate. It dries out actually quite well. This is, I'm finding this to be quite dry on the back end. Yeah, quite dry, but not bitter. This doesn't have much of a bitterness, ever so slight bitterness. So it lends, or I should say it leans towards the sweeter side of things, but because there's such a substantial dryness on my palate, that's fine with me. 
Um, I need something to break break up the monotony of just full-on sweetness in a beer nowadays. I know there's other people out there like uh, my buddy Jeff, no jinx, uh, who comments all the time on my videos. He's like, I've never met a beer that's too sweet. And fair play to him because, I mean, I used to be like that too. Um, and then my palate just shifted over the last couple of years for some reason. And now I like sweet beers, but in very small doses, four to six ounces. This though, I could drink the entire beer because of that dryness. There isn't a lot of bitterness and because of that coconut character. It's not overly complex or anything, but it's very well made and fucking pretty damn tasty. So um, Dabble from six point, I'm gonna give this a solid 4.25 out of five. If you get this in, uh, your area, you get six point at all, um, and you see this relatively fresh on the shelves, one or two months we'll go with. I think this will hold up probably for another two to four weeks. Like I said, it's around, right around a month. I can see drinking this around the two month, uh, eight, um, two month range and probably being still pretty damn good. So if you see this relatively fresh, pick it up. Let me know what you think about it. If you've had anything that has Sabro hops in it, I'd be curious to know what uh, your impressions of the hop are because this is the first time that I'm knowingly having this and I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying it. I hope more breweries use it. So that was Dabble, 4.25 out of five from Six Point. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another beer review and until the next one, cheers.